Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to do some marbling on your fingernails. I don't know if you can see this very well or not, but I just did it on this one nail just to try it out and it's so cool and it was so easy. Um, I've seen a few videos on YouTube doing this, so I thought I would try it and it is really, really easy and it looks so cool. Um, all you'll be needing is just a few different nail polish colors. I'm using like a light pink, a purple, um, a darker pink, um, a bluish color, this is for Audrey by China Glaze, and then like a darker color. Um, you can really do whatever colors you want, but I did find, I did it on this nail without a dark color, and the marbling isn't that significant, so on this one I did a dark color, and that really like, th like pulls the marbling together on it. So that's why I was throwing in this dark color. This is Naughty by Orly, and it's like a, a really deep, deep red. Um, and then just make sure that you have a cup. I'm just using a plastic Dixie cup filled with cold water. And then that's all you'll be needing, and then just a base coat and a top coat too. Okay, so this is a view looking down on my cup of water that I have here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have my nail polishes, I have them already open so I can work pretty quickly. Um, I'm just going to be dr making a drop of each color in there. In no particular order, you can repeat some colors if you want, but the key is to um, work quickly because it is nail polish and it'll dry. Um, also, I have an orange stick here. And then with the pointed end, I'm going to be like dr drawing them together to marble them. So let's see. First, I'm going to take Naughty. And like I said, this is in no particular order, just whatever I feel like. And I'm going to drop it in there. And it disperses. I don't know if you can tell that very well. But I'm going to try to work fast here. And it goes so quick. And then just another pink one. This is a light pink. If it will drop. This is so annoying when it doesn't drop. There we go. <clears throat> and it just disperses. And here's the darker one. The darker pink. And then here is for Audrey. Which is a kind of a Tiffany's blue again. It looks so cool. And I'm going to do the darker one, Naughty, again. Oh shoot, I just got it on my counter. And maybe a light pink again, so there's a nice contrast there. Okay, so that's what we have. <clears throat> yeah, and it's just dispersing. And even though you can't really tell, it did go like all the way to the outer edge, like all the way out here. So maybe make sure that you start marbling from there. And I'm going to pull it in. And this kind of has a skin on it. That's weird, but whatever. And I'm just like doing whatever. There's no like pattern specifically that I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it look cool. <laughs> but the more that you swirl it together, um, the better of a pattern you're going to have on your nail. <laughs> Uh, and it always looks different, so that's kind of cool too. Okay, now you can see it's starting to glob together a little bit, so I'm going to stop fooling with it. And I'm just going to take a nail, I'll just take my pinky nail, and I've already got it painted, but it doesn't really make a difference. And I'm going to dip it just on some part of the pattern, and I'm going to leave my finger submerged in it for like a minute. <clears throat> and that way it'll give the nail polish time to set. Um, if I wasn't holding the camera with one hand, I would go like into the cup with my orange stick again and I would swirl it around and that'll like gather the excess nail polish that's still in there. But that's okay. I'm just going to move my finger around a little bit. And this pattern is going to be on my finger too. <laughs> so it looks kind of cool, but at the same time, um, it kind of okay, sucks. So I just took my finger out <laughs> and this is what it looks like. So the entire design is on my on my whole finger, like on the skin and on the nail and everything. And that's kind of weird, <clears throat> but it looks kind of cool at the same time. Um, so what I've done now is I've taken just a cotton pad and I've put nail polish remover on it. And you just go in and take it off. Just wipe off the nail polish. And acetone probably would work better for this because it's on your skin. Uh, so I just wipe it off, and it's and it, the really cool part too is that 
it adheres to the whole part of your nail. It goes from edge to edge, from corner to corner, and it gets like in all the little spaces. And you really couldn't marble with this, even if you just put like a, like a blob of nail polish on your nail and marble it that way. There's no way you can get the effects that this can give you. I mean, it's so cool. Um, I haven't tried it by putting like multiple fingers in it at one time, <clears throat> so I really can't tell you. I'll probably try that and see what happens and update you guys. So I don't know how that would work out, but I know a lot of times you pretty much just have to do it like each nail individually. And you'll have to just remember the colors that you used on each nail to get it the same or, you know, get it a little bit different on every nail if that's what you wanted. And it pretty much dries, like, instantly. So, like, after you put your fingernail in there for a minute and kind of swirl it around, it's, when it comes out, it's dry. See, like, I'm already touching it. I uh, just took it out a minute ago. And so from here, um, what you would do is you would just put a top coat on. And that's what it looks like. I'll put some pictures on the end of this video so you can see more detail. I've only done like a random few of my nails. But I did this one too. And then I did this one. That was my first shot. But it is so easy. And it is just such a cool way to make your nails look different. Without going to like a nail salon or something like that. And it really looks professional. I mean it looks like I spent a lot of money trying to do nail art or something. So that's what it looks like. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because it was a really cool technique and you all you need is nail polish and water and an orange stick to do this. So I hope you guys liked it.